Hey everyone, TechnoMinger here with the video for you guys. Now, if you're having any issues with your iPhone 16, 16 Pro, 16 Plus, 16 Pro Max in terms of no service, it's searching, invalid SIM card, SIM failure, any of those problems, you want to follow these steps to fix it. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is pull down that control menu from the top here, put your phone on airplane mode briefly, usually somewhere between 15 to 30 seconds, and then turn that off and that does a quick network refresh and that should go ahead and fix it now if that didn't fix it for you the next thing you want to do is go into your setting on your iPhone and then go to general and then about and you're gonna wait on this page to see if you get a notification for a carrier update now if a carrier update is available it's gonna pop up and say do you want to update your carrier you're gonna select yes now if it doesn't we'll move on to the next troubleshooting step which is starting from the main settings again. We're gonna this time go to general and then go down here to BPN and device management. Now, if you happen to have a BPN turned on, I recommend turning that off, see if that helps. Sometimes BPN can interfere with your cellular carrier, uh, so SIM card might not work correctly. So turn that off and see if that helps you. If that does, then you know the BPN is the issue and you might have to remove the BPN. Now, Let's say you did this and still not working. The next thing to do is, again, starting from the main settings here, you're gonna go to general and then scroll all the way down this time to transfer reset iPhones. We're gonna tap on that and we're gonna click on reset and then we're gonna do a reset of our network setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my phone's passcode and what a network reset do is once I click that, it's gonna basically reset the network settings it will not delete any of your data all of your photos videos apps will still be there but again important thing to do if you're having any issues still with that sim issues that we're experiencing now let's say you did this and it's still not working the next thing to go ahead and do is this method here you're going to quickly press and release the volume up volume down and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the apple logo appears so i'll do this in real time volume up volume down and then I hold on to the side button just like this and you're gonna keep on holding until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo reappear on the screen so you're gonna wait here and once you see the Apple logo you let go of that side button and that basically shuts down the phone software reloads the code so again any software related issue it's gonna go ahead and fix that don't worry, this method will not delete any of your data, so all of your photos, videos, apps still will be on your phone. But again, very important step to do. And if it doesn't work the very first time, keep on trying. Again, all we do is quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold on to that side button. Now once you do this, let's go back into your phone. And if it's still not working for you, the next thing to do is go ahead and update your phone software. In order to do that, you'll need to connect to the internet. So most likely you'll need to connect to a Wi-Fi since cellular data will not work. And then you're gonna be going to general software update and check if there's an update available. If there is, go ahead and update your phone to the latest version. Again, it helps, especially if a previous update caused issue with your carrier or connectivity. Now, in a scenario that your phone has a physical SIM card, we're going to want to remove that SIM card and insert it back in. Usually if the SIM card is there, physical one, you'll see a hole on the left hand side. You're going to take a SIM ejector tool, pop it out and then pop it back in and that will reset the SIM card itself. Now let's say none of this worked or you have an eSIM card, you'll need to contact your carrier and just to verify with them your account is in good standing. There's no issues and if there's anything they need to do on their end to fix this problem for you and they should be able to help out as well. So I hope in any case you're able to fix this issue. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.